Hi everyone, welcome to CHM 304 and 403, which is Electrochemistry Workshop Lecture 4 on Polarography, but with the focus on the Yukovic equation. After the lecture, I expect you to be able to use the Yukovic equation to calculate the diffusion current in polarography. I expect you to be able to calculate the current density just before the mercury drop falls in a polarographic experiment. I expect you to be able to derive an expression for the relationship between current density and time in polarography and then use it to estimate the current density after the mercury drop falls. Here is the question. It says, what is the maximum diffusion current? at a dropping mercury electrode, TME, for a 2 millimole per liter solution of lead if the mercury flow rate is 3.5 milligrams per second. The drop time is 8 seconds and the diffusion coefficient of lead is 1 times 10 to the power of negative, two, negative 5 centimeters squared per second. B says, what is the maximum diffusion current density at the electrode just before the mercury drop falls? The density for mercury is 13.6 grams per centimeter cube. C says, does the maximum current density change with the growth of the mercury drop? If yes, in what way? D says what would be the maximum diffusion current density 10 seconds after the mercury drop falls. The first question, which is A, says what is the maximum diffusion current at the drop in mercury electrode for a 2 millimole per liter solution of lead if the mercury flow rate is 3.5 milligrams per second, the drop time is 8 seconds and the diffusion coefficient of lead is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5 centimeters squared per second. From the data, we know that the concentration of lead is 2 millimole per liter. The mercury flow rate um, is 3.5 milligrams per second. The time taken for the mercury drop to fall is 8 seconds. The diffusion coefficient D of lead is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5 centimeters squared per second. And because the electrode reaction will involve the reduction of lead to lead atom, the number of electrons involved will be 2, that is lead uh, being reduced to lead atom. The question requires us to find the maximum diffusion current. Um, this is the maximum diffusion current, the peak of this uh, spiky curve. From the data, the Yukovic equation for maximum diffusion current is needed. This is a constant 7 or 8 times the number of electrons involved times the diffusion coefficient raised to the power of 1 over 2 times the mass flow rate raised to the power of 2 all over 3 times time raised to the power of 1 all over 6 times the concentration of lead. We substitute the data into this equation. We obtain this. We evaluate this expression to obtain the maximum current, which is 29.2 microamperes. The next question says, what is the maximum diffusion current density at the electrode just before the mercury drop falls? So this is uh, the capillary before the mercury forms. This is the point at which the mercury drop begins to form. This is the point just before it drops um, at this point. So this is the magnitude of current generated with respect to time. So just before the mercury drop falls, the current is 29.2 microamperes. At this point, the volume of the mercury drop is mass flow rate times the time taken for the mercury drop to fall divided by density. The mass flow rate M is 3.5 milligrams per uh, second. The 
time taken for it to drop is 8 seconds and the density of mercury of course is 13.6 grams per centimeter cube which can be which can be converted to 13600 milligrams per centimeter cube the volume of the mercury drop can be approximated to the volume of a sphere because the mercury drop is spherical. So the volume is 4 all over 3 times pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the mercury drop. So because it's difficult to measure the radius of the mercury drop in this experiment, we write the radius in terms of volume by making v, uh, r the subject of this expression. That gives this expression. We then substitute the volume of the mercury drop, which is equal to mass flow rate times time all over density, into this bit of the expression so that we obtain the expression on the right hand side. Now, the surface area of the mercury drop is four times r squared. And we know that r is equal to this expression, so we substitute this expression in the expression for the surface area of the mercury drop to obtain an expression for the surface area of the mercury drop, which has both the mass flow rate and time density uh, of the mercury drop. We substitute the various data into the expression for surface area, we obtain this expression which can be evaluated to obtain 0 0.078 centimeter squared. So the current density is current divided by time by the surface area of the electrode um, which is 29.2 microamperes divided by 0 0.078 centimeter squared. This gives this value which can be approximated to 374.4 microamperes per centimeter squared. Next the question says does the maximum diffusion current change with the growth of the mercury drop? If yes in what way? So the current density is obtained by dividing the maximum diffusion current obtained from the Yukovic equation by the area of the mercury drop. Therefore, the maximum current density can be related to the area by dividing the Yukovic equation for maximum diffusion current by the area of the um, mercury drop electrode. This expression can be further simplified into the one on the right hand side which gives this. Now, based on this expression it shows that the current density, the maximum current density will vary with time um, t to the power of negative 1 all over 6 in that manner. Therefore, the current will change as the mercury drop grows. Specifically, it will become smaller and smaller as the mercury drop grows. Um, now, the current density, if plotted against time, um, t to the power of negative 1 all over 6, um, you should have curve that looks like this one. The next question says what would be the maximum diffusion current density 10 seconds after the mercury drop falls. We substitute 10 seconds in the previous expression that is the one in C where we relate the diffusion current maximum one to the area of the electrode. That is this one. We substitute 10 here um, and then substitute the rest of the data to obtain the current density just before uh, 10 seconds after the mercury drop falls. This gives uh, this expression when we substitute the data 
which can be evaluated to obtain this value, which can be approximated to 719 microamperes per centimeter squared. Thanks for watching. Links to the PDF version and study questions are below the video description. Thanks again for watching.